Well, hundreds of people line up outside Denver's Fillmore Auditorium for a chance to see a presidential candidate. Democrat and former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg spoke to his supporters tonight. Jeff Todd was there, joins us live with more. Jeff. Karen, this was the first big event in Colorado for Pete Buttigieg, and a big crowd turned out. But surprisingly, the only veteran in the Democratic field did not spend too much time talking about that conflict in the Middle East. Honoring this flag requires a lot more than hugging it, literally, <laughs> or throwing yourself a military parade. Pete Buttigieg only mentioned President Donald Trump once, but spent much of his 45-minute event talking about differences he has with the president. And I'm talking about making sure that our adversaries and our allies recognize this to be a country that keeps its word. And when I am your commander in chief, no ally will ever question whether it's a good idea to bet your life on the credibility of the United States of America. That needs to be fixed and fast. The Fillmore Auditorium filled up with more than 2,000 people to hear what the former mayor had to say. The candidate hit on all major issues, talking about medical costs, teacher pay, and global warming. He's the only non-millionaire up there. He's the only veteran up there. I mean, you know, the, how much more grassroots can a man be? Cindy Slick showed up two hours before the doors opened, and she was the first person in line. He's the first person that has ever stirred me to that point, to where I felt like I needed to help this man win. So I'm determined. Colorado, I think you are going to help me become the nominee and the next president of the United States. This is likely the beginning of the state starting to see more of these presidential hopefuls coming through the state. We're seeing more staffs being hired for these top candidates. The Super Tuesday election is on March 3rd. We're live in Denver tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.